Good morning and welcome for our closing chapel here uh, for the end of the year. Uh, we welcome you for this chapel service today as we bring this school year to a close. Uh, of course, we're going to miss you all and we hope and pray that you have a great summer. We begin our chapel service today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You know, we've enjoyed those Vacation Bible School songs from last year, and so we're going to use one of those songs now for our opening song, I Am Trusting You. So stand up and join us to sing. Scripture reading for our closing chapel service is taken from Psalm 46, our first reading. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the most holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fail. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. This is the word of the Lord. Our verse that we'll be using for our meditation here today is, is the verse for our theme this year 
uh, from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. To this you were called, because Christ suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. In his footsteps is our theme from this year, and it was a great theme. Uh, but before we get into that, I'd like to kind of play a game with you. And so uh, I need you all to stand up. Come on, you can stand up. You, TJ, Nick, come on, stand up. You eighth grade graduates, let's go. Last time, one last time to, to play a game here with Pastor Steve, okay? We're playing Simon Says, and you know how that goes, and so I don't have to tell you the rules. So are you ready? Ready? Here we go. Okay, march in place. Ah, okay, I probably got some of you with that. You probably just started marching in place. So you would be out if that wasn't practice. So that was practice. So now this is for real, okay? Simon says, for real, okay? Simon says, march in place. Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, snap your fingers. Simon says, nod your head. You won. Every one of you, right? You won. Nobody got out. That's a great thing. In his footsteps. Like I said, it's quite a theme. Two things to learn from that theme this year. First, his footsteps are with us, which means he is with us. It's been a wild and crazy year. I'm sure you never dreamed that we would be doing our closing chapel like this, but here we are. But you know what? His footsteps have been with us the whole way. All through this year, through all the craziness and the, and the confusion, he's walked with us. So that theme, in his footsteps, reminds us that his footsteps are with us. He is with us. All the way. The second thing we learn from that theme, in his footsteps, is that he leaves us an example. That's what it says. This is not obviously my chapel shirt. It's a little big for me, wouldn't you say? I mean, a little small for me, wouldn't you say? But it says there that leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. Jesus gives us an example of how to follow in his steps. He teaches us to love. And just think about Jesus in his, in his life, how he loved people. He said a verse in John chapter 13, he says, this is the commandment I give you, a new commandment I give you. Love each other. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Now, that's not easy. As a matter of fact, it's very hard. But we don't have to do it ourselves. He walks with us to help us. He's given us his Holy Spirit to be able to love. He gives us the example to forgive. Look at all the examples that he, he shows us in the scriptures. The woman at the well, how he treats her with forgiving love. Zacchaeus, as he goes to his house to eat there and shows that forgiving love to Zacchaeus. Jesus tells a story about a boy who, who sins against his father and, and runs away and then comes back home and is forgiven. What an incredible story. And then, of course, at the cross. Jesus has been nailed to the cross, and he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Wow. He calls us to follow his example, 
to forgive. And you know what? That's very hard. Not just for young people, for grown-ups too. And yet, we don't have to do it ourselves. We can ask God for the help to forgive. Jesus walks with us to empower us. He gives us his Holy Spirit to help us to forgive. The example of showing compassion. Now, I know that's a big word, but it means being, well, caring for people, being concerned for them and helping them. And isn't this a wonderful time to be able to do that? to show compassion, to to care for people and to help them. There's all kinds of ways we can do that as we follow his example. We also can bless each other. Jesus taught us that example too, to bless one another, to show kindness to others. You know what? I have to share this with you. I got a video yesterday on my phone. It was a seven-second video that someone sent, and it absolutely blessed my day. And when I watched it, I cried because it touched me so. Seven seconds to bless someone. We can all do that, to show that kindness to others. In his footsteps reminds us that his footsteps are with us because he's with us every step of the way. And that he has given us an example to follow, to continue to follow and live and walk the way our Savior walks. Loving, forgiving, showing care and concern for people and helping them and blessing other people, and so much more. That's what we've learned by following in his steps. Why do we do it? Because we have to? No, not because we have to, but because Jesus loves us, and we love Jesus. In his footsteps is not just the theme for this year. It's really a theme for every day of our lives. To know that he's with us and to follow in the way that he would go. What a wonderful theme. It's been a wonderful year of his presence, of his help, of his strength, of the example that he has set for us as we continue to follow in his footsteps. May it be so, always, in Jesus' name, amen. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious Lord, your footsteps are with us, and we are so thankful for that. You are with us. Through all our circumstances, through every twist and every turn of this year, you have been with us. And Lord, without you, we would have been lost. But you have been with us, walking with us each day, and you will continue to walk with us always. Gracious Lord, as we bring this school year to a close, we thank you for guiding us through this year. We thank you for all our teachers and for all the staff who have faithfully served and cared for us, who have shown your love and followed your example as they have cared for us in our classrooms, in our life each day. And Lord, we thank you for our classmates, for those students here at St. Paul that have been such a joy to be with, and we ask that you would bless them this summer as they go into that summer vacation. We also pray, Lord, that you would lead us with your help to follow in your steps. Give to us that Holy Spirit, Lord, to move us and to follow in the way that you would have us go, as you showed us to go, as you are our great example. 
And Lord, we pray that you would bless our summer with family and friends as we look forward to warmer days and much activity together. Lord, bless our summer, bless our time away. We pray that you would bless our eighth graders, those graduates who, who now leave St. Paul and go on to other schools. We pray your blessing on them. Gracious Lord, be with us all and protect us, keep us safe in our summer, and grant to us your peace. For we pray this all in the name of Jesus, our Savior who walks with us, our Savior who has left an example for us to live each day. In his name we pray, and as he has taught us to pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. The Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. And one of my favorite blessings, as we go into our summer, we say, now as we go into our summer, God goes with us. He goes before us to show us the way behind us to encourage us, beside us to befriend us, above us to watch over us, and within us to give us peace. And the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be and abide with us always. Amen. Our last song that we join to sing here as we close out uh, this chapel service for 2019-2020 school year is I will not be afraid. And we don't need to be afraid because our Lord is always here by our side.